In this video, we'll provide a high-level overview of how the AAT is used in the field. This video is only intended to give you a general understanding of the system. Much more detailed training is available that covers each and every aspect of using the AAT to achieve greater efficiencies in aligning cellular antennas. The first thing you'll want to do when using the AAT on a project is build your profiles before arriving to the job site. It is a good idea to set up the profiles the night before heading to the site, minimizing on-site programming and maximizing tower time. This can be done either remotely by connecting to the AAT via its internal Wi-Fi server or directly through the RJ45 outlet on the front of the device. There are three important pieces of information that must be entered into the AAT when creating profiles. Site name, sector name, and the antenna position. There are many more fields available to add as much information as you'd like but the main three are the site name, sector name, and antenna position. Those are the fields that will help you organize all of your project's data. When you arrive at the project site, the first thing to do is open the AAT, power it on, and set it safely in a horizontal position where it has a clear view of the sky. Now is a great time to walk away from the AAT unit and get your climbing gear ready to go. This gives the AAT time to warm up and collect as much GPS information as possible before your climb. When you are ready to climb, verify that the AAT has locked in its azimuth solution. After you have verified the solution, power off the AAT and proceed to climb the tower. Be sure to power off the AAT before climbing. Operating the AAT unit in any position other than horizontal may delay azimuth acquisition times. If the azimuth solution is not locked in, see the troubleshooting segments to determine the steps you will need to take to ensure proper azimuth before climbing. At the top of the tower, you will power on the AAT to ensure proper azimuth, Select the site and antenna you'll be working on. Set the orientation of the AAT. Secure the AAT to the antenna. Note, the order of completion of these operations depends on the mounting option selected. Mounting options are discussed in detail in other video segments. At this point, take a capture using the capture button, generating an as you found it read of the current antenna alignment. Then, make adjustments to properly align the antenna prior to pressing the capture button for the final read. If you are working with a field supervisor, at this point he or she can connect to the AAT to review the capture and ensure proper alignment before you descend the tower. This will allow you to get feedback right away and eliminate the need for reclimbs later. Once you have completed the capture process, power off the AAT and remove from the antenna mount. Then remove the antenna mount and descend the tower. At the base of the tower or back at home base, the office or headquarters, once again connect the AAT either wirelessly or directly through the onboard RJ45 Ethernet port. You are now able to offload the data you collected in report format for review by project managers. Key points to remember. Power on the AAT unit immediately when you arrive at the tower site to allow it to populate GPS information prior to climbing the tower. Always power off the AAT prior to climbing or descending a tower. Ensure the AAT has obtained a proper azimuth before mounting at the top of the tower. This concludes the video on how the AAT is used in the field. For more detailed information on using the AAT and its features, refer to the training page at sunsite.com.